Amadil Kumar sharing with you a question on Rolle's theorem to consolidate our understanding of this concept. If f of x equals to 1 plus cube root of x square, show that f of minus 1 equals to f of 1, but there is no number c within the open interval minus 1, 1, such that f dash c equals to 0. Why does this not contradict Rolle's theorem? So that's the question for you. So what we're given here is a function f of x equals to 1 plus cube root of x square. Uh, we need to show that f of minus 1 equals to f of 1. So let's find the value. f of minus 1 will be equals to 1 plus cube root of minus 1 square. Uh, which is equals to 1 plus cube root of 1 and that is equals to 1 plus 1 which is 2. Let's also find what is f of 1, right? So if I write 1 here, I get 1 plus cube root of 1 square which is also 1 plus 1, 2. So we have verified that f of minus 1 equals to f of 1 and it is equals to 2, right? Now, but there is, now the question is, show that this is equal to this, but there is no number c within the open interval such that f dash c is 0. So let's figure that out also. So let's find the derivative of this function. So we have f of x equals to 1 plus, so I'll write this in the form of uh, rational exponents, so it is 2 over 3, right, it is 2 over 3. So the derivative of this function will be, derivative 1 is 0, so this will be plus 2 over 3, x to the power of 2 over 3 minus 1, right, so it will be 2 over 3, x to the power of minus 1 over 3. Now it says that that f dash c is equal to 0, right? Let's find. So if I equate this to 0, what is the value of x? Hmm. So what is the value of x? So <clears throat> do we have any value where this derivative is 0? Okay, let me rewrite this. When I say, let's say 2 over 3, what we are saying here is 1 over and we have this value cube root, so it is cube root of x. So what do you notice here? You notice that x is not equal to 0 because it is in the denominator, correct? So it's in the denominator. So what you notice here is that uh, f dash x is never equal to 0. So x could be any value but it will be never equal to zero. Now let's get back to the question and understand what are we trying to do? Now it says, show that f of minus one equals to f of one, but there is no number c in this open interval such that f dash c is equal to zero. We verify there is no number in this interval, rather where it is zero. Why does this not contradict Rolle's theorem? So real question is, Yes, we see that there is no number in this interval which will give us zero. Why does it not contradict Rolle's theorem? So let's get back to Rolle's theorem. It has three hypotheses, right? We are considering the so interval minus one to one. So it says one, it is continuous. within the interval minus 1 to 1 and we found it is continuous. That is correct. Second portion was that it should be differentiable. In the open interval from minus 1 to 1. Now this condition is not met. It is not differentiable at x equals to 0, right? And 0 happens to be between minus 1 and 0. 
minus 1 and 1. So as the function is not differentiable in this interval, it really does not meet the criteria. The third criteria, however, was met. That is, f of minus 1 equals to f of 1. And we found that to be 2, right? So the third criteria was met. But the criteria of differentiability was not met. And therefore, Rolle's theorem is not applicable, right? So, so Rolle's theorem is not applicable since the function is not differentiable. in open interval minus 1 to 1, right? It is not differentiable at, to be precise, at x equals to 0. So if you sketch this graph, uh, what will you get? You'll get kind of, let me just. So we found that at minus 1 and 1, the value of the function was 2, right? So at minus 1 also, it was 2. And at 1 also, it was 2. And the derivative, which is, cube root of x that is what we found so <clears throat> at minus 1 it is 2 uh, the value of the function and at 1 also it was 2 so these two values are same however at 0 it is not differentiable so if you sketch this function you will get kind of like this so let me just let, let me just make it like this okay you'll kind of get like this so as you can see very clearly that that these values is, are at the same level for example this right so so at minus 1 and at 1 the value is 2 right however at 0 this point it is not differentiable you can draw many tangents here it's a corner right so so wherever it's a, not a smooth curve so wherever you have cusp or corners the function is not differentiable so I hope with this example, it is very clear that all the three conditions should be met to conclude Rolle's theorem. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.